Your life is a direct mirror, a direct reflection of who you are. When you understand how the mirror principle works, you understand why you're seeing the results you're seeing, why you are getting what you are getting currently, and how to get the results that you want. Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliette Cleary. I'm a manifestation coach helping you to step into your highest timeline, your biggest vision, and live it now. If you resonate with this content, make sure to give this video a thumbs up to subscribe and tap that bell icon. To apply for one-on-one -on -one coaching, that is in the description box below, as well as the link to my meditation channel here on YouTube. It's also the link to my freebie of how to quantum jump in seven days. Your life, your physical reality is just a reflection and it is a direct reflection. So it's not even this big, like mysterious thing of like, oh, what are these reflections showing me? It is actually very obvious. So you get back what you put out. Whatever you put out is what you get back. Now think of that in terms of a mirror. Whatever you stand in front of the mirror wearing is what you see yourself wearing. If you're standing in front of a mirror and you're smiling, then what do you see in the reflection? A smile, a happy you. So you can't get back something that you are not putting out because it is just a direct reflection of you. So if what you put out is what you get back, then if you're saying, I really want this thing, I really want this thing, I want it so bad, I want it, I want it, I want it. What happens is you start to actually feel a stronger desire, a stronger want, a stronger yearning, like, oh, now I really want this thing. I want it so bad, <laughs> right? Because the mirror reflection just showed you more of what you gave it. Imagine if you're pretty consistently thinking throughout your day, I wish I had that, I wish I had that, I really want that, I want that, oh, I wish it was this way, I really want it to be that way. How can I make it be that way? How can it happen? What will you get in your reflection? You will get the experience of more wanting, uh, more confusion, like I really want it and how can it happen? And wishing for it stronger. This is why uh, praying in this way does not work. A true prayer is a prayer of gratitude. It is a prayer of uh, something either you already have and you're saying thanks or something you think that you don't really have right now, but you are putting yourself into the place, into the identity of having it and saying thank you for it and feeling that that is a true prayer that will be answered, right? Because if you're saying thank you for this thing that I have and you're really feeling that, then that's what will be reflected. Whereas when people are praying and saying, please give me this answer, all they're really attracting for the most part is I really want the answer. I really want the answer and I can't seem to get it. And the thing is asking for something, asking a question, asking uh, for a desire, like a, a manifestation, asking for guidance or help is not a negative thing at all. But if that's your dominant state of thinking or, or being, like you are doing that a lot. <laughs> then that's what you're just going to see. You're not going to see the solution. You're not going to see the answer, the manifestation, the result. That's a different frequency. That's not something that you are embodying. You are embodying the question, the confusion, the thing of I'm not there yet. Every time you look at your goal and you're like, mm, I'm not there yet, I'm not there. How do I get there? Again, same thing. You will get the experience of not being there, not being there, not being there, not yet, not yet, not yet. You're close, but you're never quite there. That's another thing that I hear people say, I feel like I'm getting close, but it's just not happening yet. Again, if you are noticing, like if you're making that assumption over and over and over, that's just what you're going to see in the direct reflection. That's who you're being. That's who you're associating as and you don't even realize it, but you are being the person who is not quite there yet. 
close, but not quite there. All right, some other ones are, I'm not satisfied. This is not satisfying. Ah, oh, it's just not satisfying. It's just not, it's not what I want. This is not enjoyable. It's not satisfying. I'm not satisfied. I'm not fulfilled, right? Notice these little thoughts, these little definitions as you're moving through your day and notice how often that they come up, how often you're choosing them. Once you're aware of them, it's a choice, right? How often are you choosing these? Because you can't get this wildly satisfying life in you know all these circumstances if you're just consistently being the person who is unsatisfied, the person who has, who must have the unsatisfying life because they are someone who is consistently unsatisfied. I know for me, I had a habit years ago of just consistently focusing on what I don't like, what I don't like, what I don't like, what I don't want, don't like this, don't like this, oh, I don't like this, don't like this. And I didn't realize that that was just what I was going to experience more of. I was consistently looking at, I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this. So what do I see in my reflection? Everything I don't like, more of what I don't like and nothing seems to change. It can also be thoughts like, it's never enough. Oh, I never have enough. Oh, this is just not enough. Whether you're thinking that you are not enough because of something or the money's never enough or this relationship's not enough or whatever it is, the not enough, not enough, that's gonna be your experience, simple. Or it's a hard thing to do this. This is a hard subject. It's hard to do this thing. It's hard to achieve that. It's hard, it's difficult. No, nothing is hard and nothing is difficult, but that'll be your experience because that's what you said it is. A big one is I don't have it. Oh, I don't have it, I don't have what I want. I don't have what I want, I don't have it. And you're consistently noticing, thinking about and, and evoking a feeling response of, I don't have what I want. And when you're consistently focused on what you don't have or don't have enough of, right? What you see, what you get as an experience back in the reflective mirror is the experience of not having. Whereas if you were to focus on what I have, what I have, what I have, what I love, what I like, what I appreciate, then you get back the experience of having and you start to manifest more things because you're the person who has it all. You're the person who's experiencing having the things that you love and desire. This is really big when you think about an identity shift. Who is that person? Who is that person who's sitting there and just saying, oh, I'm so frustrated, I'm so unsatisfied, I'm so unfulfilled. And there's like this story going and it's like, who is that? And who do you want to be? Who's the person who appreciates something in this situation instead? Who's the person who focuses on their wholeness now, their fulfillment now, feeling abundant now, feeling worthy now? The person who is satisfied, the person who is fulfilled. And sometimes, you can have things going pretty well and you're still focused as that kind of personality, as that kind of person who it's still not enough, it's not enough, I don't like this, I don't want that, I don't have that. And it's just noticing every time you're going there and refining that. You're not going to manifest a life that you love if you are trying to get away from a life you don't like and you're trying to take actions and you're trying to do manifesting processes from that place of lack of like, I really don't like this because the mirror is just going to give you that direct reflection. It doesn't really matter too much about the actions or the processes that you're doing if that's the underlying personality you've got going on for the most part well, then it's no wonder why things don't shift or change even when you're doing different actions or processes. If you're trying to create a life that feels so deeply fulfilling from the personality who feels so deeply unfulfilled, can you see how that's not a match? Can you see how you can't possibly see that in the mirror in your life? You can't see that reflected back to you because that's not what you're putting out. I've had clients, I've had people, you know, in subscribers, in the comments 
who are wanting so badly to manifest a relationship, but they're in such lack or, or need, or I'm not enough. Like they're in that personality where you really, in a sense, don't really want to attract a relationship because they're just going to be a direct reflection of what you're putting out. So you want to be whatever it is that you want to see. Whatever it is you want to see, have, experience, you must be it in some way, shape or form. You must be the abundant person before the abundance shows up. You can't sit there and wait for it because then you are the identity, the person who waits who waits because they don't have it yet and they need it in order to do this or to show up in this way or to feel this. You must be whatever it is that you want to experience. Here are some examples of how you can switch from these old kind of patterns of thought into something like into embodying the new reality, the new you and shifting into a place of fulfillment in the moment. And yes, you can do this. So many people will say, oh, I can't do that. I just can't do that. No, no, no. That's the old identity. You can do it. Show yourself that you can do this. For example, you see someone with a great relationship and you immediately think to yourself, oh, I really want a relationship. You notice, oh, okay. I'm in need right now. Like I'm in lack. I'm in separation. I am not a match to what I just said. So some things you could say in that moment is, I'm excited for my relationship. I am so excited for that relationship. I am the kind of person who has that relationship. And say that with a boldness. Say that with that kind of like strong decision, like, like the powerful, masterful creator that you actually are. And step into that power, into this new identity. I am the person because every version of you exists right here or right now. There are so many versions of you and there is so many versions of you in an incredible relationship in the one that you want. And so that's who you're tuning into in the moment. It's not like you're just saying these words, you're tuning into that version of you and you're pulling that into now. Therefore you're shifting timelines. I am the kind of person who has that relationship. You can switch immediately into a different state of being, a different identity. And in the moment you shift to a parallel universe where you actually have that and it's on this timeline. And so you're noticing more of these unconscious habits, these unconscious thoughts, and you're switching them. I didn't reach my income goal this month. I'm not there yet. How do we get there? What does it feel like to hit that income goal normally, naturally, every month. And you kind of start to think and you start to kind of feel a bit, maybe even just a bit calmer, a bit calm, a bit more peaceful, a bit more maybe confident, maybe even ego, relaxed. And you start to tap into this other timeline. Like what do you think using your imagination is? It's tapping into another timeline. So if you're focused on this one timeline or, you know, this bunch of timelines where you don't have it, it's not, you're not there yet. And then you switch to, hang on, what is it like to have that and have that be a normal part of my life? You just switch timelines. If you tap into it and you feel it, imagine it just a little bit, you experience it in some way, you shift it. Something like, I'm exactly where I need to be. This is all on my path and everything always works out for me. Another one, I don't like this. I don't like that. I want this to be better. What do I appreciate? What good things are in my life right now? What does it feel like to have all things go my way? To have everything sorted for me. Another one, I don't have what I want. Maybe you're not thinking that exact thought, but you're just noticing, I don't have it, I don't have it. What is it like to have what I want? How does it feel to have all these incredible things in my life right now? What does it feel like? Not what would it feel like, 
What could it feel like? That's not, they're not bad, but we want to place you in the moment, in the now, as being that person so that you can see the reflection of, I have it now. Another one, which is a very common thing, it's hard. It's hard to do this. Oh, this is so difficult. All right, switch. What is it like knowing that this is an easy part of my life? Because there are, like I said, infinite versions of you. And there's, <laughs> there's many versions of you where whatever this thing is, it's easy for them. Like it's just easy. They don't even think about it. Whether it's like weight, it's, they've never had an issue with their weight or health. They've never had a health problem. They're so healthy or um, they've always had healthy relationships or they've always had a healthy relationship with money. They've never had money issues. They've never, they don't even think about money. It's just like, it's just there. It just finds them, right? What is it like for that to be so easy? I have decided that this is easy. I have decided I can do this. I can do this. I am the person who does this easily. So in these moments when you're doing this, you're not trying to make something happen. So many people get caught up in like, oh, I need to fix this thought, I need to change this thought. And it's like, it's just like, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. It's just, you're being aware of what's already been going. What's the story, the script that's just been playing. It's just been rolling. And you're just starting to notice it. And if you don't prefer something in the script, change it and you change the movie, right? So it's not this thing of like, oh my God, I need to fix this and I need to get rid of this thought and all these things. It's just like, oh, I just noticed that right now. I would prefer to rewrite that script. Let's rewrite it because it's what I prefer. I prefer to be the person who's confident, who believes in themselves, who doesn't actually criticize themselves or feel like they're not good enough. Um, I'm the kind of person who wants to have a really good feeling relationship with money. I want to feel abundant. I want to feel happy. I want to feel whole. I want to feel fulfilled, right? I want to feel love. I don't need someone else. I want to feel love. And so you're just choosing in the direction of actually what you prefer. And this takes all the fixing and the trying out of it. You're not trying to do anything. You're making these little changes because it's more in alignment with who you really are and what you really want. And as you make those little changes, you shift in the moment and these little consistent uh, changes of your choice in the moment over a little bit, just a little bit of time become now the dominant character. You're a new main character. You've written a new script. This is a new character and there's going to be a new movie playing in the reflection. And I think so many of us get caught up in circumstances, uh, whether we were reacting to them or we're just worried they're not changing or, you know, just consistently looking at the outside, like it hasn't changed. And it's like the outside's nothing. There's nothing there. It's just you. <laughs> so if you didn't change, then the outside can't change. It's as simple as that. It's only when you change does the outside change. You put on a different outfit, you're gonna see yourself wearing a different outfit in the mirror. You start thinking different thoughts, like choosing. You start noticing the thoughts and choosing different ones. You start noticing how you feel and choosing to feel differently. You start noticing how you're behaving or acting and make different choices. You're a completely different person. That means you're living in a completely different timeline. So get ready to see changes outside of you. You changed. Are you being the person who is living the life that you say you want to live? Are you being that? Not are you trying to do all the things and trying to fix the old life, trying to manifest from lack? No. In order to have a life that you love, you have to love your life. And that doesn't mean that you need to go do all these drastically big, different changes, like big things. It just means in your moment to moment day, be the person who's living that life. If you want a fulfilling life, be fulfilled. If you want a happy life in all areas, be happy. You want a happy partner, happy relationship, really like good feeling, then you gotta be that person. You want more abundance? Be the abundant version of you. Be that version of you who feels abundant, doesn't need it, feels gratitude, feels so whole, wouldn't ever try to manifest something to try and feel 
successful, trying to feel good enough, trying to feel more whole or fulfilled, already feels that way and just gets more of that. Decide that you are that person now and start to be the change that you wish to see in your life. Okay, that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to comment down below, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. For ways on how to work with me, that's in the description box below. Have an amazing day and I'll see you next time.